Pete Cowan is one of the best coaches in the world, and he talks a lot about this spinning the arms down in the downswing in order to control the club face and get into a great delivery position. Now, I watched a couple of videos of him talking about this, and in the comments below, there seemed to be a lot of confusion about what he sort of meant by this. Welcome back to another episode of Three Minute Thursdays, where every Thursday I post a video on a complicated topic where I simplify it down in just three minutes. So without further ado, let's chuck the timer up on the screen and let's start this video. So what does Pete Cowan mean when he's talking about spinning this arm on the way down? Well, essentially he is talking about rotating the forearm so that we can square the face up a lot earlier and get this trail arm in a position to where then we can deliver shaft lean. So if I go to the top of the backswing and I replicate this movement, we will be rotating the right arm for a right-handed golfer so that the palm will point down to the ground. This gets us in a delivery position to where the club face is pointing slightly down to the ground. And from there, this is going to encourage rotation. It's going to encourage us to have good compression as we deliver shaft lean with a good angle of attack. Now, if we actually look at what most amateurs do, they don't do this movement. So uh, what they do is they get to the top and their trail palm will stay under the shaft. This creates an open club face. Now from here, you're gonna have to throw that club out in order to square the face. So by having that concept of spinning that forearm, spinning the arm, rotating it down to the ground, watch what happens to the club face. You can see it starts to point down. If I don't do that and I just leave it under, you can see how that's gonna leave the club face open. From there, we're gonna struggle in terms of creating any sort of compression. So to help you visualize this movement a little bit better, let's use a table tennis bat. So grip it like a golf club, red side pointing down towards the target, representing our club face. Go to the top of the backswing, you can see it points up towards the sky. Now, if I did this move incorrectly and I didn't rotate the forearm down, you would see the red side would be pointing up to the sky. That's representing where the club face would be pointing. Versus if I go to the top and I actually take my lead hand off and I say, right, twist this down so it points down to the ground, you will feel this spinning of the trail arm like Pete is talking about here. You can see the red pad is pointing down to the ground right there. Now, if I do this same movement with this on the side of the club, you can see here again, spinning it down. Now, a lot of people might actually wanna feel this with the left wrist. And this is where that sort of reverse motorbike sort of feeling comes from in terms of just helping you get into a great delivery position here. Now, a second drill I wanna give you is actually one from the AMG Golf Channel. So if you haven't checked out those guys, go check them out, they're fantastic. And it's called the hook drill. So what you can do is go up to the top of the backswing and imagine somebody's put their fingertip right in the center of your club face. If you have that club face open on the way down, you can see it slides straight off my finger. So what I wanna be feeling is I can twist this club on the way down in order to hook my finger. That's going to help you get into a great delivery position here. Now, a lot of people say, okay, well, when I do this, aren't I just gonna hit it fat? No, because you've got to remember what's being encouraged here. If I rotate things down into a good position, my body is gonna to wanna to turn. As it turns, it drags the low point forward. So me turning, clearing my left side, drags the low point forward. So before the, the keyboard warriors jump in, this movement here is not gonna cause you to hit it fat because it's gonna encourage you to rotate, which drags your low point forwards. Let me show you what this looks like. 